Hello everyone, I'm Geek Freak and welcome to the video. This is part 3 of fixing Dragon Ball Super Broly's fight. If you haven't seen part 1 or 2, stop this video and go and watch number 1 and 2 because this video is a full parter and this is part 3. And with all said and done, let's move on. I know for a fact that Gotenks isn't really all that popular, but you know what, I don't care, I like Gotenks. And also, it'll be really cool to see him go Super Saiyan 3. Like I said, it's 18 fighters versus Broly. 17 if you count Gotenks. There is no way in hell they can actually beat Broly at this point. But again, Broly's power isn't rising as fast as it was against Goku and Vegeta, but Broly is still dangerous. Hell, at this point, Broly could even destroy the entire freaking universe. So instead of using brute force, everybody uses tactics and strategies, and everyone is using their best techniques. And everybody isn't just going one-on-one, -on -one, just like what Goku and Vegeta does. Everybody is actually working together. And there's quite a few team-ups that they can actually put in this. There are the Cell Juniors, which works pretty well together. There's Goten and Trunks, which works together perfectly. And then there's Krillin, 18 and 17, which works together. And this will bring a great opportunity for Android 17 and Krillin to work together. 17 works well with 18. 18 works well with Krillin. Hell, maybe even all three of them can work together. Go on and Piccolo are a good team-up. Tien and Yamcha can work together. 17 and Freezer can work together, just like in the Tournament of Power. And just for the hell of it, even Gohan and Freezer could even work together, just like in the Tournament of Power. And even though they're all working together to try and take down Broly, or at least buy some time for Gogeta to arrive, there could also be some unlikely team-ups. For example, you could have Freezer and Krillin team-up. You could have the Cell Juniors teaming up with Goten and Trunks. There are loads of endless possibilities of what you could do with this team-up. And there are loads of techniques that each fighter can use against Broly. If I was to make a list, I would be here forever techniques, abilities, and so on, there is a long list. Now, I'm not going to be one of those people that will say, oh, they should only stick to their signature techniques, like Krillin and his Destructo Disc, and Yamcha with his Wolf Fang Fist, or Piccolo with his Special Beam Cannon, and so on and so on. Because if you guys remember, in the Saiyan Saga, Piccolo and Krillin did the multiform technique. And I think this is a technique that Tien and Piccolo can do, but Krillin did manage to do the multiform technique. And Krillin can also do the Solar Flare, which is a technique that was originated from Tien. What I'm trying to get at is, it would be cool to see them do other techniques rather than their signature techniques. And I'm not saying they should only stick to their signature techniques, but I would like to see everybody do some actual martial arts. Kicking and punching, strategies and so on. Hell, even Android 18 knows the Destructo Disc. And you know what? Just for the hell of it, Yamcha and Tien actually fuse. They see Goten and Trunks fuse, so they also give the fusion a go. And they become Tiancha. Is that his name? I forget. Yeah, yeah, I know that's far-fetched, but... But, I will say that would be cool to see. There is a lot of things in this fight that could happen. But, there is one thing I would like to put in this fight. And that is this. Master Roshi attempts to use the Mafuba on Broly. But, the Mafuba does absolutely nothing to Broly. To those of you who don't know, the Mafuba is a technique that can seal people away inside a container. Anyways, Master Roshi attempts to use the Mafuba on Broly, but Broly is too damn powerful for the Mafuba to work on him. Now, I'm not saying that the Mafuba is a weak technique, and that's the reason why it didn't work on him. The reason why the Mafuba didn't work is because, compared to Broly, Master Roshi is like wind. Master Roshi is non-existent to Broly. And even when Master Roshi goes full power and tries his absolute damnedest for the Mafuba to work on Broly, it still does nothing. Again, it's not the technique that's weak, it's because Master Roshi himself is far too weak compared to Broly. And Master Roshi tries his absolute damnedest to try and make the Mafuba work on Broly. And it gets to a point where Master Roshi uses up his life energy against Broly using the Mafuba. And when the Mafuba failed to work on Broly, and Master Roshi gave everything he could to seal Broly away, which again, it had no effect on Broly, Master Roshi actually dies for overtaxing his body to try and seal Broly away. And this is just like what happened in the King Piccolo saga in Dragon Ball. Now I know what some of you are going to say. You're going to say, oh but Geek Freak, Master Roshi used the Mafuba multiple times during the Tournament of Power and the Mafuba didn't kill him then. So why did the Mafuba kill Master Roshi while he was using it against Broly? Like I said, Broly is a different cuttle of fish. Broly is extremely powerful compared to those other characters that Master Roshi used the Mufuba on. Compared to Broly, Master Roshi is non-existent. Master Roshi tried, and he failed. If the Mufuba was done by somebody that was much more younger and much more powerful, like Goku for example, then the Mufuba would have might be a success. But at this point, Broly is way too powerful for the Mufuba to work on him. Unless they can find somebody that's on par with Broly, 
the Mafuba isn't going to work. Anyways, back to the fight. After Roshi's death, everybody's upset and everybody is really angry. Even though technically Broly wasn't the one who killed Master Roshi, everybody goes in full force using their best techniques in order to take down Broly. And when I mean everybody, I mean everybody who is close to Master Roshi. Frieza, 18, Krillin, fires their Destructor Discs at Broly, hoping to slice him in half, but on impact, the Destructor Discs breaks. Tien and the Cell Juniors use the Kikaho technique, or the tri -beam Cannon, on Broly. All of them fire at the same time, aiming straight at Broly, but it does nothing. Gotenks uses his Super Ghosts on Broly. Everybody throws everything at Broly. Some techniques do work, like the Solar Flare, and some techniques do distract Broly, but none of them can actually kill Broly. And also, there's one other thing I would really love to see, and that is a combination beam. Do you guys remember the fight between Aniraza, Frieza, Gohan, Goku, Vegeta, and 17, where they all fired at once against Aniraza? And also, do you guys remember the family Kamehameha, where Gohan, Goten, and Goku fired a Kamehameha against all Broly? And do you guys remember the beam struggle that Gohan, Piccolo, Trunks, Vegeta, and Goku fired against Hijack. Yeah, I would love to see the whole group fire a combination beam against Broly. That would be freaking awesome. Like I said, there are loads and loads of things that could happen in this fight. Those are my suggestions, and there are loads more things they could do in this fight. And hell, even have a few characters die. But the one death that made everybody get all rolled up is the death of Masaroshi. And like I said, have a few more deaths, like one or two of the Cell Juniors, kill Yamcha or Tien, Krillin, or have a few of them crippled or unconscious. Or hell, have a few of them lose limbs, like Tien versus Nappa, where Tien lost his arm. Do that to somebody. But there's one thing that we need to remember. Broly isn't conscious of what he's doing. After Roshi's death, everybody is trying to kill Broly. We need to remember that Broly isn't evil. He just has no control over his power. This is kind of a similar situation when everybody started attacking the androids which was Android 17 and 18. Android 17 made it crystal clear that they'll make it a one-on-one -on -one fight, but everybody jumped in to fight the androids. It's kind of the same with Broly. Broly is a victim of circumstances. Everybody thinks he's bad when he's not. Anyways, this whole fight against Broly doesn't always have to be about the fighting. They could try and get Broly to chase them, use the solar flare, the multiform technique. Loads of things could happen in this fight. So yeah, I'm going to leave it to your imagination to what could happen in this fight between all 18 fighters versus Broly. But I will say this, the first time they tried, everybody went to go and fight Broly. And when that half an hour was up, they tried again and failed, and they had to continue fighting Broly for longer. Many of the fighters were either killed, or beaten, crippled, lost that limb. It was a complete nightmare. And then, on the third try, they succeeded. He announced himself as Gogeta, Gogeta teleports to Korin, for some Zensu beans, and then Gogeta teleports where Broly is, Gogeta sees what Broly's done, and Gogeta gives a Zensu bean to everybody who is still alive, and when Gogeta hears what Broly did, and sees some of his friends are dead, Gogeta immediately goes Super Saiyan Blue, instead of starting off in his base form to Super Saiyan 1, to Super Saiyan Blue. And that's the end of part 3. What do you guys think? Was I wrong? Am I right? What do you guys think should have been in this fight? Please let me know in the comment sections below. And I'll see you guys in part 4. Peace out.